Big Slick here and today we're working on a phase linear model 3000 series 2 preamplifier. This unit has had a lot of work done to it in the past both by me and a previous technician or technicians. The unit was also seems to be rather poorly cared for by some previous owner because it's had some rust spots on it that suggests that it was in a damp basement type of climate. So this one wasn't the best unit to start with, but the owner is committed to getting it in as good a shape as possible. And today it's in for another relay swap, which at this point looks like it's going to be pretty much the entire unit that will have been done. And some of these I've done in the past, other ones have been done by somebody in the past, not myself. And today, the one that seems to be original yet with the clear top, this auxiliary jack, that one's having problems. And he wanted me to check the tape monitor loops to see if they're working good. So that's going to be today's project. And here I have a brand new uh, 24 volt sealed relay unit. The way you test these are you connect these to a power supply and you power them up anywhere around, this is a 24 volt coil, so somewhere around 20 volts is fine. You just connect these with mini grabbers. I'll use this power supply that you see right there. And what I'll do is, on these relays, this inner pin right here, and this inner pin. So in other words, the innermost one of the three on each side is your plus and minus and you can connect these either way in terms of just testing them out and what you're going to do is this will be your common pin for your ohm meter on each each channel left and right so with it unpowered you should have perfect continuity between the outside on each side when you power it up it switches from the bottommost pin here to the one in the middle so then you will have continuity between here and here. And you can only test these, obviously, when you power them up for the continuity when they're switched in. There's no other way to test it. So I always check these. I've already tested this one. I've tested it when I purchased it. But I'll try to show you real quick. Okay, so I have my multimeter ready to go here. Power supply is set for 20 volts. Connect one lead to this innermost pin right there. Connect the other side and there you go. I don't know if you could hear that, but the relay engaged. So on this setup, we're going to be testing between the outside pin and the center of the three. And as you see, you have excellent continuity. And the, when these relays go bad, typically what happens is you get poor continuity. You won't get a complete open. But if you test the old ones, you'll see that there'll be a lot of resistance. It may be flaky where it'll drop out occasionally. And it's not that the coil itself went bad. It's just somehow the contacts are dirty and you can't clean them or adjust them. Now we'll check the other side here. And as you see, that's perfect continuity. Now, when you power this off like this, you will see now you have continuity there on the outside. And you need to check those to make sure they're good, too. So that's how you test these on the old ones. If they got the clear cover, you're just going to replace them because those are all junk. In order to remove these relays, you're going to want to use something like this Hacko desoldering gun. Very difficult to remove these just with solder wick. Okay, here's the old one taken off. And to give you an example, if you test the resistance even on the base here, you can see it's kind of jumping all over the place. I mean, that's not terrible, but it's not ideal. Check the other side. That one looks a little better there. 
So we'll connect the voltage to it here and see what we have there. You got four ohms there is the best seems to be about the best you can do there. There and so you can see that's the channel that was bad. He said one of the channels was dropping out and so that resistance is terrible there. And there's like I said, there's nothing you can do with these except replace them. You can't, I've tried cleaning them before, it's, it's futile. So that goes to show you how you have to test these. But for example, when this one's engaged, this is the contact that's bad, the engaged contact. Here's a quick little tip. Whenever you're going to solder these relays in, go ahead and push it into the board and then just use a piece of black tape to keep it in place while you flip it over and do the soldering. And then you can come back and just remove the black tape. Okay, there it is. The new relay is installed. As you see, auxiliary is selected. And there's the output. It's working great. Okay, thanks for watching. That's how you test and install a new relay in a phase linear model 3000 series 2 preamplifier.